It is Bergman's distillation of a doll's house in such a way that the five characters are explored intensely and an intimacy, a primal intimacy, that's fascinating. Austin Pendleton, there's no one else I can think of that can bring that to the fore, can manifest that. I've been interested in this play for quite a few years since I saw Ingmar Bergman's production of it in Swedish at the Brooklyn Academy of Music in the 80s or the 90s. I directed a lot of Ibsen before and acted in some, and he's always just been to me one of the three or four most engaging, ex exciting playwrights to work on. Every time I've seen an Ibsen play, it's been utterly fascinating to me. And it was very exciting to act in Ibsen and very exciting to direct Ibsen. There's so much more there than you think there is. <laughs> And uh, he's Norwegian, you know, and he's like, there's ice over it, and then underneath are all these creatures floating around. What Ingmar Bergman does with Ibsen's A Dollhouse is he concentrates it, he, crisp, he trims it. I think he must have trimmed well over half an hour out of it. And he gets it down to just the core characters. Austin's take on this role and in this play is very different. This is a woman, a 19th century woman, who loves her husband, She's not having a nervous breakdown. She's not a, a latent suffragette. Um, she's a woman that begins to really explore her potential, and then she can't stop. So it's not that she <clears throat> wants to leave, it's that she has to leave. It's life-changing not only for the characters, but for a lot of members <laughs> of the audience. He saw it more as an exploration of, of, a, of a human being trying to, um, trying to grow up, trying to grow up. And, and I think that's what it is. Because it's so private, it's so personal, it still has the ability to, to take an audience aback. Um, and it, it's extremely moving to me, the courage this woman shows.